If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glisten Ralph. Spoiler season is upon us once again, the never-ending spoiler season, and I'm having a good time looking at these spoilers. I wanted to discuss a few with you that I thought were interesting, and some potential decks that we could work out of some of them. So the first one, the one that I find the most exciting of those that have been spoiled so far, is... Madcap Experiment. So this card seems like it should be a lot more broken than it actually is, right? Uh, you reveal cards from the top of your library until you hit an artifact card, put that card onto the battlefield, the rest on the bottom in a random order, and then it deals damage to be equal to the number of cards revealed this way, so that does include the artifact that you reveal. Now, I say it seems like it should be more broken because immediately my mind jumped to modern. Okay, we can use this to go and get Blightsteel Colossus. Obviously, in Standard, they're not going to design Blightsteel Colossus. They're not going to give us too many uh, exceedingly awesome artifacts right now. But the same reason that you wouldn't want to give, say, if Collected Company is in your format, you don't want to put Tarmogoyf in. It sort of limits your design space. And Madcap Experiment does the same thing here for big, powerful, consequential artifacts. So we're not getting Blightsteel, but that being the case, I, I looked at a few other cards so far that have been spoiled that might work well with this. Now, obviously these are going to have to be the only artifacts in our deck if we're going to make the most out of them. The first one that jumped out to me unfortunately doesn't work. It's Torrential Gearhulk. It's awesome looking. It's uh, The Gearhulk so far are either 5 mana or 6 mana. We haven't got the red one as of the time of recording this. But uh, the 6 mana blue one, 5-6 flash, and when it enters the battlefield, you can cast an instant from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that said instant or sorcery, oh my goodness, you could go Madcap Experiment into Torrential Gear Hulk, and then Madcap Experiment in your graveyard, cast it again into Torrential Gear Hulk. And yeah, that's a lot of life that you'd be losing, but you could build a deck around that. You could say, like, Chaplain's Blessing, Blessed Alliance, Dazzling Reflection, some Gideon's Approach to Stall. You could, you could make a deck that works through that, because all you need is to go off one time. But it doesn't. It doesn't work on sorceries. It only works on instants, so we can't do that. Given that, the next best thing, in my estimation, is Tragic Arrogance the Creature. It is Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. Vigilance, 4-5, and when it enters the battlefield, Tragic Arrogance. So it's each player chooses... No, it's not quite Tragic Arrogance, because each player chooses an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, a planeswalker. You don't choose for them, so it isn't as good, but you're also getting a creature out of it, and it's vigilant, and it's outside of Grasp of Darkness range. We don't have Languish anymore, but it's still out of Grasp range. It beats most everything in the format until we get to the insane plays, like Eldrazi, like Ulamog, for instance. And I guess Ishkana is a bit of an issue for it. Uh, but actually, even, even Ishkana, you're going to make them choose Ishkana herself, and then the tokens go away. That's a thing, I guess. I, I think that you could legitimately build a deck around Madcap Experiment, into finding, say, Cataclysmic Gear Hulk, and just playing sort of a, a tempo game after that point. Protect your Gear Hulk, remove their threats, keep them out of the game. If you get another Cataclysmic Gear Hulk, bear in mind it says you get to choose an artifact and a creature. These are artifact creatures. So you can choose one as your artifact and one as your creature, and you get to keep two Gear Hulks around, assuming that they're the only creatures around. The deck also gets to run the new Chandra Torch of Defiance, Chandra the Fire Sculptor? She's awesome like that. I don't know. We're going with that. Uh, you get to run Nahiri for some Imrakul action. Or, I guess, another Gear Hulk. You get to run Gideon. Uh, we'll see what other Planeswalkers we get in this set. But yeah, it looks like the deck kind of starts to put itself together from this point. I'll make a deck tech for you. First of all, I need to know what the red uh, Gear Hulk is going to be. And secondly, 
we'll see what other cards are around. But it looks like... It looks like it's going to be pretty sick to me. It looks pretty budget if it's just a two-color deck, right? You could even run Deploy the Gatewatch. Not that you'd necessarily want to, because you need to run, what, 18 Planeswalkers to make that work? I don't think we're there, but that's just another thing that you could do. You could go to sideboard, like, transform into a Deploy deck, I guess? Eh, I'm just throwing out ideas. I, I like this card. I like Madcap Gear Hulks. What would we call that? Like, Cataclysmic ex Cataclysmic Experiment. That's the name of the deck, if that's what it turns out to be. Cataclysmic Experiment. Alright. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this. These are just a few cards. Oh, man. I hope to make more of these. Stay tuned. Subscribe for more videos like these, and I will see you later. Take care, Magic Community. Bye-bye.